my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are all the duologies and trilogies and series that I have not finished yet. So, in case you missed it, I recently announced my announcement video for the Continuathon Year 2. So the Continuathon is a readathon that I hosted last year, all about focusing on finishing duologies, trilogies, series, companion novels, etc. and so forth, that we all want to finish reading. Um, so I am creating this video to hold myself accountable to all the different series that I have available uh, to finish, and uh, that does not include series that I have started but the next book is not out yet. I'm not including those because it's not my fault. So these are just ones where at least the next book is out but most likely the entire series is out because I don't like starting series unless they're completed because I'll forget what happens between the books and I don't have the time or the motivation to reread. So <laughs> It's very unlikely. And the second reason is because I feel like there are so many of us who have so many series on our TBRs, it can be overwhelming, but if we know that we're all in this boat together, hopefully it will be okay. So I'm gonna fly through these very quickly. I'm not gonna do a whole synopsis, put the picture here, hold up the book, etc. Just cause I'm gonna go through these quickly because there are so many. We're gonna start off with the duologies. Six of Crows duology I by Leigh Bardugo. I haven't even finished Six of Crows, but that is a duology that I really want to read as I am watching season two of Shadow and Bone, so I want to read that duology. And then after that, obviously, King of Scars, but that's not even on this list because I just want to focus on Six of Crows first. The Grimrose Girls by Laura Pohl. I read the first book and I really liked it. The second book is out. I haven't read it. I should do that. Anatomy, the second book for Anatomy just came out. It's called Immortality and this is by Dana Schwartz. Um, really cool historical fiction. I, I absolutely adored the first book. To be fair, I did not know there was going to be a second book. I thought it was a standalone, so... But it's still on this list and I have the second one. It's right there, so I should read it. Alex Stern. I read Ninth House and I actually didn't like it very much, but it is one I might be willing to reread to see if I actually do want to read the second book, Hellbent. I don't know if it's a duology or if there's going to be more. For some reason I feel like it's a duology though, so there's that. The This Poison Heart, that has at least two books that we are aware of. I just read the first book, so it's not too bad. It hasn't been on there for too long, but it's another option. Tokyo Ever After by Miko Jean. Second book is Tokyo Dreaming. I really want to read that. I don't know why I haven't read it. I absolutely adored the first one. And uh, I think I can just fly right through it and it'd be perfect to read in spring. That is it for the duologies. And so now we get to move on to the trilogies. I have the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. I just need to read the toll. I, I don't want the world to end. I love the world building and the characters. I don't want it to end, but I really should just read the third book because I'm forgetting so many details. And then Gleanings came out. It's like a companion or something. So I, I might even have to move it from trilogies to a series because there's a companion out now. So it's okay. I can read the third book now because there's a companion. It's also chunky. It's also kind of big. And it's it's been it's been a while since I've read like a chunky book, especially without an audiobook. But I really should do that. The Crown of Shards trilogy. I read the first book. I own the first book. I started the second book and I kinda had to put it down. I wasn't feeling I wasn't in the mood for it, and then I had to give it back to the library, and so I just haven't really thought about it much. And that's by Jennifer Estep. Dreamland Billionaires. I finished that book right before filming this video. <laughs> so it's technically on the list because books two and three are out. But considering I finished it like half an hour ago, it's fine. 
but they also don't have audiobooks for it, at least not through my library. So I need to actually buy the books if I want to finish them, which I do really want to finish them because oh my goodness. Then I have the Skolomance Trilogy by Naomi Novik. I read the first two, I own the first two, absolutely adored them. Third one's been out for a little bit now, so there's no good reason that I have not finished that trilogy. Now this next one is interesting. I'm not completely sure if there are three or four books, but The Bone Witch by Rin Chipeko. I read the first book, I know I read the second book, but I did not retain a single thing, even as I was reading it. Like I would put it down and pick it up the next day and have no idea what, what I read the previous day. I just did not retain it. And for all I know, I could have read the third book. I honestly have no idea, but I think I just want to reread the first book and actually just read the trilogy because I don't think I read the third one. Maybe I started it and then was like, I don't know anything. And so I put it down. Yeah, that feels right. So I want to reread that just whole trilogy. And then the final trilogy that I could read are, it's, kind of, it's really a trilogy of companion novels, but it's the Lady Janies by Brody Ashton, Cynthia Hand, and Jody Meadows. I read one of them and they have two more Lady Janie books that I want to read and they've started on the Mary books. And so I've got those companions and I've got another trilogy afterwards. So there's plenty of material to read there, but I'm saying that my Lady Janies are a trilogy that I want to finish, even though they're companions. They're not related in any way, but they're on here. The Darkest Powers trilogy. This trilogy was gifted to me. I read the first book. I thought it was all right. I do want to read the second book to see if it gets better though. And this is by Kelly Armstrong. Now, finally are all of the series. Oh my goodness. I can't, kind of sad, okay? Um, so The Wayward Children series by Shauna McGuire. I read the first three books. I read the first three, absolutely adore them. Don't know why I haven't read more of them. And those would be nice and quick. Those would be perfect for this readathon because I can read them quickly. I would enjoy them. It'd be great. It would take, it would take a lot to, <laughs> to finish them, especially since they are still coming out. But if I got caught up with them, I would be able to go into the fourth tier, but that would still be a lot. <laughs> so, but I would love to make progress. I would love to read at least one, if not two. Then I've got the Hunt of the Grimalkin series by Danny Swanson. This is technically a trilogy, but then there's also a companion novel. I own all four books. I'm saying it's a series, even though it's like a trilogy and a companion. So I read the first book. They're also very short, so again, they would be really good for me to read during this readathon. I'm pretty sure I had them on the TBR last year for the readathon. Don't think I did. Now, this next one only has two books out, but it just says that it's a series, and this author has released other books since then, but I don't know if they're going to return to this series at all, but that is the Samantha Knox series by Jenny Elder Moak. Um, it's like a mythology kind of treasure hunting based series and I read one of them and I thought it was okay. I was a little disappointed, but that was <laughs> for my own personal reasons, uh, as well as a little bit of the book. Um, but I really want to read the second one. So I don't know if they're going to be more series or more in the series. If there are, you know, I only have one book out, so that's fine. It's fine. Then this is one that I keep going back and forth on is These Witches Don't Burn. I read the first one, and this is by like Alex Sterling, or Isabel Sterling. It's by Isabel Sterling. And I liked the first one. It got better as it went along, which is why I'm like, maybe I do want to read the second book. I don't know. But again, I was, I didn't see if it was a series versus trilogy versus like, I just wasn't super sure. So anything I wasn't sure about, is on this list. It could just end up being a trilogy, and I don't know that. This next one is gonna be very interesting. Shatter Me by Tahara Mopi. I read the first book, I want to reread it. I have since then bought the second and third book, so I can at least read the original trilogy, but I do want to read all six books if I do enjoy the trilogy, which I enjoyed the first book, so I think I will, but I should read those. I could read the next book in the Finley Donovan series, the third book just came out. 
So I could pick up that one. I've quite enjoyed those. And then the final series that I have, the first two are out. There's gonna be a third one. I don't know if that's the final one, but it's the Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray. I can read the second book. I, I fairly recently read the first one, so it's like, okay, that I haven't rushed to read the second one. Um, but that is definitely an option that I can do for this readathon. I don't think in this readathon I want to start any new series or trilogies or duologies just because I have so many that I'm in the middle of that I want to read. Like I actively want to finish these. So I don't think I'll be starting anything new if I can help it. <laughs> or at least not intentionally. So. And yeah, and just think, there are so many other books. There are so many other series on this list where I'm waiting for the next book, so this list will get bigger or smaller, depending on how the readathon goes. Overall, in total, that is six duologies that I could finish, seven trilogies that I could finish, and six series that I could finish or catch up on. Which brings me to a grand total of 19 series to choose from for this readathon for two weeks. It's only it's only two weeks long. It's 14 days and there are 19 series. And for some of those, it's more than one book that I could read in the series. I'm not going to math that out. I'm not going to count that. That's way too much. But I have a lot to choose from. So there we go. Let me know in the comments below if you are participating in the readathon, what your series TBR looks like. Are you focusing on trilogies, duologies? Are you gonna start something new? Are you gonna take this opportunity to start and finish a new series, maybe? Mm. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a video about um, completed series that you could read quickly or read for a readathon like this. I can definitely make a video like that and I'd be very happy to. Otherwise, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe as I post on Sundays and Wednesdays, normally, uh, and hit the bell to be notified when those videos do go up. And I also have bookish social media linked down below that you can see what I'm reading, what I'm thinking of it, when my videos go up, etc. and so forth. And that is everything. So thank you all very much. I hope you participate in the readathon and I hope you have a lot of fun. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Mm -hmm.